Hello everybody, we're starting a new class now, Miracles One-on-One, -on -one. okay? So we're going to actually teach what the Bible says so you can operate in miracles. We may need to receive a miracle. And uh, what happened with me is in 1 Corinthians, if you have a Bible, we just trust that you've prayed and believed God and received the Word of God now. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and in verse 10. It says, To another the working of miracles. Now, I just zeroed in on that verse and I just sensed in my spirit for three days I need to just lock myself away and just zero in on the miracles of God. So that's what I did for three days. Just prayed and fasted for three days. But when I came out of that time of prayer and fasting... I still hadn't ate anything, but I needed to go to work. <laughs> and so I went over to the neighbor's house to work on his horse. I was a horseshoer and a horse trainer and all that. And so uh, I went over to work on his horse. His horse had been foundered. If you know anything about horses, you know what that means. And I specialized in that kind of work back then. So I went over there and worked on his horse. And he was standing there just he, the man was standing there just kind of <sighs> oh and kind of grunting a little bit he just wasn't his usual self well i got done with the horse and he we usually went inside and he'd just pay me wrote me a check and why he was writing that check i just asked him i said before we went in the house i said uh, i called him by name and i said what's going on you just don't seem to be your usual self and he said well mike he said I'm scheduled, I'm scheduled the next couple of days to go in and have surgery on my shoulder. He said, I can't pick it up. I can't lift it up. I can't put it above my head. He said, it's full of arthritis, completely full. There's just a little bitty place that goes all the way around my bone shoulder. There's just a little bitty tiny place about that big. And they was able to put a needle through there and shoot dye in there so they get a... a real good picture of it but it's just it's like 99.9 .9 full of arthritis they're going to go in there and clear all that out and i have to walk around with the arm brace like this till it heals up then i just hope it don't come back and uh so i said well won't you let me pray for you and just get rid of that and he said okay he's sitting there smoking a cigarette backslidden away from God. We're talking about the working of miracles through you. The other person may not be humming with God, but you can. And so I just laid my hands on his shoulder and I just spoke. All arthritis disappear and be gone now in Jesus' name. And I just kind of pat him on the back like that, turn around and left. Well, three days later, he came over to my house and he just... Mike, I got to tell you what happened. I got to tell you what happened. He just like that. And I was like, go ahead. Tell me what happened. He was sitting in my living room. He said, the second you touched me, I could tell that all that arthritis just disappeared. But he said, it shocked me so much that I, I couldn't tell you to stay here for a minute. I couldn't even talk. And uh, I said, well, praise God. He said, but I, he said, but I'm, 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 I'm. He said, I'm just so happy. I don't know what to do. So he got some tapes off of me uh, for about, you know, keeping your healing and stuff like that. And he was so glad he went to his, he went to his group that he placed that he uh, goes to church at. Well, they don't believe in miracles where he went. But he stood up on a Sunday morning. He said, I got to tell everybody in here what happened. Just almost interrupted the service in between the singing and the preacher preaching. And the preacher had enough sense to say, well, go ahead. So he told him. He gave his life to Jesus. He told him that he called my name in that church. And, and said, he, the second he touched me and laid his hands on me, that arthritis disappeared. And I just want to say praise God for it. He said, after that service, some people got on to me. I said, they got on to you? He said, yeah, they got on to me for being excited about God. He said, there's nothing like that ever happened here before. What makes you think it happened to you? And he said, I'm standing there moving my shoulder around like that. He said, I went ahead and went to the 
uh, the clinic called me on the phone, the doctor's office, and said, well, you're scheduled for your surgery. He said, well, I guess I'm, he said, I don't need it. And they said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, I'm moving my shoulder everywhere. I said, well, go ahead and come on in anyway. They didn't believe him. <laughs> they won't make that money, you know. So he went ahead and went on there anyway. And the doctor, he said, got my arm, pulled it up like that. And he pulled it forward, pulled it back, pulled it up, pulled it down. He said he was trying to hurt me, but there was no pain anywhere in that shoulder. And I said, praise God, that's wonderful. And uh, he said, but I hadn't, I hadn't ever tried to do push-ups. So I said, we'll go ahead and try them. So he, he was an older man. I'm surprised he could even do push-ups. So he knelt down there and did the military-style push-ups where you go down, come up, clap your hand, go back down. <laughs> we had a time out there in the side of my uh, house there in the shade. And then years later, I, uh, they invited me to speak at a, for a whole bunch of young people on the gifts of the Spirit. So I, I zeroed in on that story. I told them what I did. I prayed and fasted for three days. I believed God for the working of miracles. It's working in my life now in Jesus' name. Whatever I put my hand to prospers in the name of Jesus. And then it came time to go to work. So I went over to the neighbor's house just a couple blocks away, worked on his horse and asked him if I could pray for him. And he let me pray for him and he got healed, totally healed. And the man in the audience stood up and he said, that's my uncle. That was my uncle. That was my uncle. So we had a glorious time, you know, especially with a confirmation like that of a, of a relative and everybody, everybody there. I knew all the young people, but I didn't know him. He was a youth pastor somewhere else. And he told me, he, so all of them knew. And he was just, you know, they was just elated. And the anointing got stronger and stronger and stronger in those meetings. The big wigs even showed up and started preaching and ministering in those meetings. So I just want to encourage you today. Step out. You know, this is uh, miracles one on one that you maybe you need a miracle or you're ready to be opened up to God to receive. To receive, believe you receive and you perform miracles in Jesus name as God leads you and directs you right through there. I had no leading at all. I just knew I needed to go to work. And I and all through Bible school and everything, they was teaching about prayer and fasting, so I knew I needed to pray, I knew I needed to fast, and that was the outcome of it. And I've been seeing miracles ever since then. We're going to stay in this vein right here just to encourage you in Jesus name. Receive it now in the name of Jesus.